y'all. The circus is coming to town. Let me catch my oxygen. Okay. She had a 20 ounce. And they gave your girl a whole 32. Don't you want some belly support? Like, ain't that belly heavy? Good morning, bays. Welcome back to another vlog. If you too, if you too, see y'all, I swear I need to get it together because I don't know where this grammar tongue tiedness be coming from. But anyways, if you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Octavia. I call all of my subscribers Shea Bays. If you want to become a new bay, just hit that subscription button right down below y'all it is wednesday and y'all see the attire we getting ready to go to school and it sound like it's a mini typhoon going on outside it is raining and i'm hoping by the time i get ready to walk out this house that the rain be done slacked up because i don't have no umbrella in the house they're both in my car the logic behind that i don't know but um yeah, I really ain't got nothing planned and y'all per usual, we just gonna see where the vlog takes us and go from there. Today is a school day. The next couple of days are gonna be school days, but this morning, since clinic has started for me at school, if you guys are if you guys are new and don't know, I am a full-time dental hygiene student. Um, I'm gonna be my student partner's patient, so this morning I'll be a patient, and then for my clinic time, my partner will be my patient since I couldn't both of us couldn't find no patients for well actually rephrase both of our patients canceled on us for today so we had to you know come to the rescue for each other so anyways let me finish getting myself together and we're gonna get out of here i really think i want to get a smoothie this morning for breakfast like i think that's what i want to do even though i had a smoothie a couple days ago like not even a couple days like on monday and today's just wednesday but y'all mother nature should be coming and when mother nature comes Y'all already know, for for my girls that know, y'all already know, when Mother Nature get ready to come, baby, you be wanting to chow down everything under the sun. And that be me. I be wanting to chow down on everything under the sun, everything that got sugar in it, I want it. I don't care. Like, I want it. So, yeah. But anyways, let me stop rambling, because you know your girl can talk. And let me get up out of here, because it is... Yeah, it's 6.44, and I need to be there by 8, and I don't want to be one of them patients that's late. So, let me stop running my mouth. Okay, y'all, we are pulling up at the King Smoothie, the Smoothie King, and it ain't nobody in line, which I already expected that because it's raining and it's 7 in the morning. Who wants to come and get a smoothie raining at 7 in the morning? Me. <laughs> so. Good morning, what can I blend for you? Hi, can I have a um 20 ounce Caribbean whey? 20 ounce Caribbean whey, yes ma'am. Anything else? That'll be all. Thank you. Thank you. So Thank you. As soon as I said that, after I made my order, a car just pulled up right behind me. <laughs> I guess I ain't the only one. Y'all, I'm salty because I ain't got no no rewards on my app. So I'm about to pay for a price. Morning, so Pretty good. There you go. Have a good day. Thank you. You too. I was sitting there, I was like, uh, is they ever gonna take my money or scan my app? Like, I was confused. <laughs> I'm really sitting there like, uh, what's taking so long? This is too cool. They, now they got some business. They got two more people in line. Ooh. Y'all, this traffic is about to be a fool, but y'all. The circus is coming to town. So I was on my way here, I passed it up. And they got the tents up. And yes, y'all, I am going to the circus. I forgot to tell y'all that earlier. I'm going to the circus this weekend. I am a big kid. I have not been to the circus since before I was a teenager, okay? So I'm excited. I am really excited. And then this is gonna be my little niece and nephew 
first circus experience. Granted, they baby, so they ain't gonna know what's going on. The hell, they might get scared, but it's exciting. I'm excited. It's called the Universal Circus, and it comes to town every year. Like it's pretty much like the predominantly black circus, and it's fun. Like it's fun. I was talking to somebody about the circus, and it was like it's a that that fake show. I was like. Well, I didn't say nothing, but it never registered me I'm, until, like, I'm thinking about it right now. I don't know. I've never viewed the circus as being fake. Like, I really feel like those are, those animals are really trained. Then people really be dangling and jumping from the sky. Like, I think the circus is real. Like, real. To me, it's not like WWE or wrestling where it's fake. Like, you know it's fake. Or... You know, like those magic shows and stuff like that. Like to me, yeah, I can, I know that stuff is fake, but the circus to me is real. Like them people be doing real stuff. They can get them real life hurt. I don't know. Y'all comment down below and let me know what y'all think. Whether it's real or fake, I don't care. I still like the circus. I'm still gonna go watch them elephants and them twirlers and whatever do what they do. But y'all, I ain't been to the circus in so long. I don't even remember everything that be going on. But we gonna see. I'm excited. If y'all can't tell. But that's one thing I know we're doing in this vlog. So, yeah, that's it. And Oh, and we going to work. I do got to go to work this weekend. Mm. Y'all, I'm down to working once a month. And baby, every time I got to go, I be dreading it. I be like, damn, I don't want to go. Because it's on the one Saturday that we that the office is open. I'm like, Jesus, I've been, I ain't going to say I've been enjoying my weekends of freedom. Because on my on my weekends, I be studying. But still, I don't, I don't have to guarantee me get up and I know you see my okay I about to say I know you see my signal no I got to get on here it'd be crazy you be having to see in Dallas anybody who from Dallas or done been to Dallas or drove in Dallas you know out here you gotta drive aggressive because these people don't care they rude so you gotta be rude right with them there is no such thing as polite driving out here you gotta bogard your way if not, you'll get ran over. But, anyways, y'all, let me focus because it is traffic because it is raining. And for some reason, when it's raining outside, people like to think that they fast and the furious and I guess want to experience a slip and slide or have or whatever. So, let me focus so I can get to where I need to be safe. <laughs> with my patient duties right now obviously i'm sitting in the car because i need to charge my phone and y'all i don't know what it is about iphone like they think they slick they really be trying to get you to upgrade your phone because like once you get your once you done had your phone for like two years i swear the battery life be dying instantaneously like when you first get your iphone you could go a whole 24 hours be on your phone all day and probably only use half a battery baby now you be on your phone for five minutes and half your battery life is gone like apple be thinking they doing something but they're really not because i'm still not upgrading okay i'm sticking with this iphone 11 until the wheels fall off that's just that on that but yeah i'm in the car letting my phone charge i really could go home and get my loops and come back but the way that I do not want to do that is set up, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to drive 25 minutes there. No, I'm not. I'm not doing that. No, that just, that just sounds ridiculous. Like, no, I'm not going to do that. What I could, what I need to do is drive and get some gas because I am in a quarter of a tank. So I could do that. But at the same time, I am hungry. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm, phone charge. That would make sense, like, go get some gas while my phone is charging. But I'm, I'm also hungry, and I know if I go to a gas station, I'm probably going to end up buying a snack. 
Let me drink some water. How about that? Maybe that'll curve my hunger. Let me drink some water. Good morning, bays. As y'all hear, we are back at Smoothie King again. Yeah, I know we just ate it yesterday, but if y'all have not noticed, your girl, if she like on a binge and she likes something, she'll eat it like pretty frequently and consistently. Like that shrimp fried rice that I had last night, I didn't even tell y'all that I literally had that like two days before, but it was so good I had to get it again. But hold on y'all, let me get my app so I can get my prints. Good morning, pretty good. Okay, okay thank you. Yeah, I really gotta start doing these surveys because I promise y'all I don't. I scan my receipt on Fetch and then the receipt go in the trash. But y'all see that sun? Period. Actually, let me go ahead and scan it now because I ain't gonna lie. I be forgetting. And your girl be losing. Be losing. Be losing, Octavia? Losing. Today. Okay, thank, thank you. You. Take care. you too. <laughs> Baby, she said a little. Um, I ordered a 20 ounce and they gave your girl a whole 32. So, yeah. Blessings on blessings on blessings on this. What's today? Thursday? Yes, Thursday. Y'all already know the routine. Y'all see what I got on. We are headed to school. that I was gonna walk so I definitely deleted the clip where I told y'all but I'm proud that we made it today that I was gonna make myself walk I wasn't gonna keep talking about it. I was gonna make myself do it so as soon as I got home I went on ahead and just changed my clothes got me a little snacky snack and out the door here we are it is 4 35 and I got my watch I'm going to see how far my distance and to um track how many calories i burn so yeah it's a little cold out here it's in the 50s but y'all hear this wind blowing it feel more like it's in the 40s but yeah let me put my airpods in and i don't know i'm gonna figure me out something to listen to so see y'all after my workout oh y'all y'all see these stairs so i decided to give myself a challenge i'm about to try to run up and down these steps three times and then continue my walk so far i already walked a mile y'all so Whew, I ain't got nowhere to sit y'all up, so I'm gonna have to carry y'all in my hand while we go up and down these stairs. Let's see if we can do it. All right. Definitely not in shape where she used to be. Baby, my throat hurt. My chest hurt. But we did it. That's all that matters. And we still got to finish the rest of our walk. Oh, y'all. Let me catch my oxygen. Oh, okay. Shit. Maybe I should let my steering wheel down so y'all can see me a little bit better. Good morning, y'all. It is Friday. At first, I wasn't gonna pull out the camera this early, but I don't know. I stopped at the gas station this morning to give me a little snacky snack for breakfast because when I left the house, I wasn't really hungry and I know what I wanna eat. But of course, as I got closer to the school, 
I got, I've gotten a little bit hungrier and I have to eat something and take my pills in the morning. Anywho, that's not what I came on this camera for. Like, I don't know what it is or what that just did, but don't y'all just love it? I ain't gonna say, well, like it when y'all going somewhere and like the man opens the door and actually holds the door open for you. Ooh, y'all, I thought y'all was about to fall. Look, my other camera is on its way back. This one cannot be getting having to get sent out for repairs. Like, no. Okay. Let me try to get y'all up here. Ugh, it's because y'all fell off my little thingy magic. You know what? Let me just pick y'all up. Hold on. Let me just pick y'all up. How about that? Okay. So, anywho, like, y'all going in the door or whatever, and the man opens the door, and he said thank you. You say thank you, and he's just like, yes, ma'am. I don't know what that is. I, I have always, I don't know if that's the old-fashioned in me or what, but I have always been a woman or a girl who loves when her man opens the door for her like walks on the side of the road with the traffic you know opens the car door for her like i've always loved that like that is a big deal for me like a man doing that for me like baby that's a huge turn on for me i don't know comment down below if that's a turn on for y'all like what that do for y'all but it, it do something to me i don't know what it is i don't know what it is but i just it's, it's just it's the i don't know and it be throwing me off when i be seeing people couples walking and like the man walking on the inside and the girl walking on the side of the street with traffic or the the man walking out the door before a woman and she just walked it's like what is this like that just blows my mind so my next man if you're watching this i like that i like all that so yeah but anyways y'all we done pulled up to the school i just had to come on here and talk to y'all a little bit because that just low-key like brightened up my little morning like and he was a a black man at that i mean all races do it but when my brothers do it it's it's a, it be a little bit more like okay like he opened the door i said thank you he said yes ma'am we love that anyways <laughs> let me get out this camera so i can go in here and get my education i'll talk to y'all later All right, y'all, these are the cookies that I picked up. This is the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. They had a mystery cookie, which was a strawberry Pop-Tart. Then they had this caramel oatmeal, and then that's the pink sugar. I don't know which one we're about to taste. We might taste a piece of all of them. I don't know, but let's see how they taste. Okay, y'all, so we got, I decided to get a piece. I decided to get a piece of every flavor, so I just cut each cookie in full. So I'm gonna start with the um uh, the what's your, what is this the cinnamon toast crunch because this is what took brought me there anyway. So let's see, this is what it looked like on the inside. Let's see if it'll focus. Okay, let's see. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. It kind of it's kind of like a, a snickerdoodle cookie that's what it kind of tastes like but that's pretty good not gonna lie that's one of the ones all the cookies that i got except for the pink sugar they're all supposed to be served warm but of course i bought them wait till i got home and ate them so they're a little crunchy around the edges but that's okay but yeah so next we're gonna taste this strawberry pop tart not gonna lie i feel like this is not gonna taste right but we're gonna see this what it look like I feel like this one may give me artificial vibes. That one, it's not too bad. I can't explain what it gives. But I guess, okay, so y'all know how Pop-Tart got the mini Pop-Tarts now that y'all can buy. 
that's what it gives me it gives me the mini not the but it gives me the bite size not the whole pop tart type of deal so it's not even it don't have like that little tart flavor that pop tarts normally have it's more sweet it's it's okay ah okay so the cinnamon toast crunch i would give that one probably like a seven out of ten that pop tart i probably give it like a five out of ten okay next we're going to taste this um caramel caramel oatmeal this is what it looks like and i guess it has uh pieces of roller on the inside so let's see hmm. i get that one a seven out of ten too it's okay yeah it's okay and last but not least, the pink sugar. Yeah, and like I thought, that one just tastes like a a regular old sugar cookie. So I get that like a six out of ten, just because I think it would taste better if it had regular white icing than pink icing because y'all know how i don't know maybe it's just me but sometimes that color icing that be on cookies have like that weird taste to it so yeah so top one definitely would be for me the cinnamon toast crunch then i would put the even though i rated a six i would put the sugar cookie after the cinnamon toast crunch then the caramel oatmeal and then that pop tart will be last um will i go back to crumble cookie i don't know if i do go i would just get if there's a one specific flavor that i want to try then i'll just buy that one specific flavor but as far as me like experimenting like i did today and wanting to try all these other flavors i don't think so um yeah it's it's good but it ain't that good if you know what i mean so yeah overall Mm. Mm. I can save my money. I stick to going to my little Tiff treats, you know. To all y'all who love crumble, keep going for it. Kudos to y'all. But I do want to try. Everybody been talking about this place called Insomnia Cookie. I haven't been there, so I need to try them uh, next. But I don't know when I'm gonna get to them. Ooh. <sighs> We are off of work, babe. <sighs> Ain't been to work in about a month and a half almost. And then I ain't going back in about, well, I would say a month, but two weeks. Woo! It was a good day. It was a good work day. I ain't gonna lie, I was a little nervous because you know when you ain't done something for a while, you feel like you get a little rusty. But your girl still got it. Your girl still got it. I ain't lost my assistant skills. But y'all, it's cold out here. I don't know. This weather, bipolar weather in Texas is ridiculous. Last week, it was 80 degree, 70 degree weather. Now this week, it want to be all wet and cold. Like, what? Can we go back to the nice, warm, outdoor weather? Because, baby, I'm a winter baby, but... I'm kind of over it at this point. Kind of over it. Hold on, let me unscrew y'all and sit y'all on the dashboard real quick. Let me prop y'all look so I can talk to y'all better. Y'all, I be having to rig y'all up until I can get me until I give me an actual uh tripod scene. I need to do better. I'll get that one day. I'll be saying that. Whew. Changing out my work shoes. Oh God, hold on y'all. Ooh. Ooh, it is two o'clock and y'all I feel like going to Old Navy and the reason why I feel like going to Old Navy is because I was watching Gina Janine vlog and she went to Old Navy and bought all this stuff that was on their clearance and I got me a little $10 off of $25 cash. And I was like, well, I can go up in there and spend $15. Lord knows, I do not need to be spending no money. But I want to go to Old Navy. I want to go and see what they got 
and then i also want to take myself out to eat somewhere at first because i had an olive garden I, uh, I have an olive garden gift card so at first i was thinking about going to olive garden but i'm like I don't know. I don't know if I really feel like going to Olive Garden. And then I was like, well, over there where the Old Navy is, I can go to that seafood place and get me some seafood. But I've literally been eating seafood, like, every day this week. <laughs> like, literally. Like, I think I've had, I had salmon Monday and Tuesday. Then I had the shrimp fried rice. Then I've had the sea, the, the seafood, the sushi like i don't have seafood all week and your girl don't want to get mercury poisoning like like i don't i don't know how much shellfish or water fish i have to eat to get mercury poisoning but i don't want to get it but at the same time i really ain't been craving like like chicken there's only so much you can do with chicken and if i eat chicken out it's not about 10 gonna be fried and i think that's why i've been eating more seafood because it's more variety out in public like you don't have to always have it fried Cause when it comes to chicken, all you get is tenders, wings, all that stuff is fried. And I've been trying to stay away from fried food, so. Yeah, but seafood sound like a win cause the taste of them potatoes in my mouth, and then the egg, and then y'all, yeah, I think I might be a big girl and actually try to get the cream, the cream, the king crab legs. We gonna see, cause baby, them cream, I cannot talk cream, I tell you cream, king, 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 king. Them king crab legs be sharp. Okay, you be doing surgery on yourself just to get a piece of meat. So, yeah. Anyway, y'all, let me focus on the road. And if I go to Old Navy, which I most likely will, ain't no if, I will talk to y'all there. Hopefully they got some good stuff and hopefully it ain't too crowded because it is two o'clock on a Saturday. <sighs> so, I'll be back. Okay, yeah, we out of Old Navy. Uh, it wasn't too much going on up in there, so I didn't even pull y'all out. And plus, the music was loud up in there. Um, so your girl did um go over budget. So I told y'all I probably wasn't gonna spend no more than twenty five dollars to use my thing, get ten dollars off, and spend fifteen dollars. And your girl ended up spending forty dollars, got ten dollars off, and spent thirty dollars. So. Yeah, we're not gonna talk about that, but <laughs> I did get me another set of pajamas. They had these 50% um, off, so I got this top and I got these shorts. Each, each the top was regular $16 and the shorts were regular $16, but they had them on sale for $8.50. And then they didn't have nothing else going on with the clothes. And so at the checkout, I just got me some earrings because, yeah, I don't have any gold hoops. And then I don't have any gold necklaces. Y'all know, like I've told y'all before, I'm not really a gold girl. And then they had this little elf mascara. So I was like, let me go ahead and get that. So what your girl really should have did, I should have just bought this and this mascara and called it today. But I picked up those earrings. And once I pick up some and I like it, it's a little, I ain't going to say it's too hard, but it's a little hard for me to just say, hey, I'm not going to get it. So end up getting it. But anyways. Let's head over to this seafood place and see what's popping over there. But y'all, we're not gonna talk about how, um, I don't like talking about people, but some people just, it just shocks me what some people will come out in public wearing or looking like. Like, if I'm pregnant, I wanna be covered as much as I can be covered. I would want to be modest. This woman, walked into the store and it looked like half her belly was hanging out and she was well and showing pregnant like a good she had to be a good six months and up and i just i i don't i don't i don't know what people think is cute about that like in the summer it's even worse like i understand that you tied or uh, this and that but don't you want some belly support like ain't that belly heavy like don't you need something up under that like some elastic to help lift that mug up like you just got it dangling like i don't be understanding i i just i don't understand it i will never understand it people just amaze me i could not imagine going out in public pregnant 
with my stomach just hanging out. Like, what? No. <laughs> okay, y'all. I really should have had my camera turned on already, but obviously we at the restaurant. I hope y'all can hear me. It's a little loud in here. But they didn't have no more boots, so your girl was really at a table, like in the middle of the whole floor. But I know I said I was going to get like a seafood boil, but I'm really debating on trying this lobster fried rice. Like, or they got salmon fried rice. Like, I just had shrimp fried rice a couple days ago. But this is different. We're gonna see. I'm torn between the two. I don't know. Or I could get it to go. You know what? I might just get it to go. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna order that to go. And we're gonna get the king. I mean, I ain't gonna do no king crab. I changed my mind. We're gonna get some snow crab and shrimp. And then we're gonna add a boiled egg. And then we're gonna get this lobster fried rice to go. Or no, we're gonna do salmon fried rice. I'm not a big fan of lobster. That texture be be a little spongy for me. So yeah, we're gonna do that. And I might get some juice to eat with this. Okay. You want that model for you? Yes. yes. Okay, so I want to get the um the snow crab with the half a pound of shrimp. Yes. Can I just get three potatoes instead of I one? Can do it. Okay, I can and do then it. I also want to add uh two boiled eggs. Two boiled eggs. Yes. And then uh for the shrimp, you want head on or you want head off for the shrimp? Headless. Headless, I got mm -hmm. it. And then I have a two crab flavor of the seasoning of the seafood sauce right here. Okay, um yeah. the special has sauce. The taste like sweet mm -hmm. and salty. Okay. And the patient, no sweet, only salty. Okay. Uh, I'll try the, the Asian sweet citrus flavor. So you want a special house sauce? Yeah, but I wanted um mild. Mild, okay. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. And I'm gonna order something to go. So can I keep this? Yeah. You okay. Can keep it. And, and then, then when, you, when you're ready, just let me know. I can order to go for you. Okay. Yeah. And then what type of juices do y'all have? Like to drink? Do you have like lemonade or? Yeah, for the juice. But, but you want alcohol or you want not? Uh, -uh no. <laughs> I I only have the uh, regular lemonade right now. Okay. Yeah. Do you have Sprite? I have Sprite. Okay, I'll take a Sprite. I got it. Okay. I take. Okay. Thank you. Oh, y'all. It's about to go down. It's about to go down. I am full. The food was good. This is well, this ain't my first time coming to this place, but I'ma say it's my first time because the the last time I came here, which was many years ago, it was called something different than what it's called now. So this is my first time coming here. And I would say I would give them um with the service and everything, I ranked them probably like a seven out of ten. The food was good. I got there, uh, they don't have like the typical, you know how when you go to most seafood boiled places, they be like, you can get the lemon, lemon pepper, acacia, garlic, whatever like that. With them, uh, they had their house special sauce, which is like their Asian sweet sauce, but that's what I got to try. It was good. Like, it was like sweet and stuff, and that was good. So, I definitely would get that sauce again. Um, <laughs> they had, I didn't, I didn't have a camera on when this was going on, but they had to sit, I had to send my, my bag back twice because I don't eat the corn. So 
I said I wanted all potatoes, no corn. And both times, the first time, they gave me all corn and they didn't have my eggs in there. So the second time, they brought it back and I had all corn and my eggs was in there. So I was like, I didn't want no corn on potatoes. So the third time was a charm. They gave me my rice stuff on the third go round. And then y'all, one of my potatoes, I don't know what was wrong with that potato. It was like infused with some juice or something, but I, I picked it up and I touched it and it was like squishy. And I don't know, me just being curious, I guess I wanted to like bust it open so I like, the juice just slid all up my sleeve and baby, I didn't eat that potato because I knew what was going on with that potato. I ain't never met no soft, like juicy potato. Like I don't know if it's soaked in the oil too long or what, but that potato wasn't right. And then y'all having this camera out and you being by yourself, but you definitely do get a lot of attention. I can definitely see why some people don't have a camera out. and what these vloggers or youtubers be saying you know when you had your camera out people be staring it didn't help that i was sitting in the middle of the room <laughs> first of all so when i first got in there my waiter he was like um he was like oh you vlog he's like you gonna record yourself you're gonna be a mukbanger or something i was like nah they eat too much i don't eat that much food like them and then uh while i was sitting there like these two guys had came and sat they was at the table like right next to me and I don't know about what, how, I don't know, when like two men or a group of men sit next to me and I'm like by myself, it makes me like, I don't know, it makes me like nervous or uncomfortable because I don't know if they're going to want to talk to me or anything like that or, you know, want to be nosy, like what you're doing with your camera and this, that, and third. And like the part of town that I am in, the type of men, the, the men that they... <laughs> The men that typically try to talk to me or they be want a whole conversation, they are not the men that, they don't talk with no sense. They they don't. They be like, oh, what you doing? Like, what you do that for? Oh, that, like, they don't talk with no sense. <laughs> so, anyways, um, I was sitting there with them eating my, my business. They didn't say nothing to me until, like, towards the end when they was done eating. So, one of the dudes, he was like, um, what he say? He said, you take cameras on. He said, you be taking pictures on your camera, just do videos. I was like, I just do videos. I don't take pictures. He was like, oh, why not? I was like, that's that, I ain't got that far. That's, that's too much for me right now. And then he was like, uh, he was like, so what you be doing? I was like, just vlogging what I do. He was like, what do you do? I was like, I just go to school, you know, go to work, regular stuff. He was like, oh, he's like, what you going to school for? I was like, doing the hygiene. He was like, oh, so you like, he's like, you like them good teeth. And I was like, yeah, because I ain't going to lie, Lord. I, I just know his teeth. They, yeah, he can come see me at the clinic for $25. <laughs> and then these women, a group, it was like a group of, I guess it was two men and their daughters, I'm assuming. They sat at the table next to me and one of them, and she was like, are you recording yourself eating? I was like, no. I said, I said it's off. He was like, she was like, oh, because we watch people that eat. I was like, no, I don't do all that. So needless to say, my experience with having my camera out in public by myself, you get a lot of attention, a lot of conversations. <clears throat> it was it was cool. It was cool. It was cool. It was cool. But now y'all, I know I done ate and I'm full. But tell me why I want to go get some ice cream. I still got them cookies at home. Them from uh, I'm about to call them crazy cookie. What's that crumble cookie? But I kind of want some ice cream, and I'm in between getting Ben and Jerry's or getting um frozen yogurt or just taking my butt home i really need to just take my butt home yeah i think i'm gonna do that because i'm just i'm just i don't know what my problem is i just be out and i want to eat everything like no we, we just gonna go home y'all that's how we're gonna do we're gonna go home good morning happy sunday y'all already know or y'all may not know y'all might have forgot but today is circus day and y'all i am so excited I just can't hide it. But y'all, I am low-key rushing because the circus start at 11 and I'm just not leaving my house. Oh, it's nine minutes from my house and it's like 1034. So yeah, trying to get there. Cause also I'm the person who has the tickets for us to get in. And y'all, I am having a horrible breakfast this morning. I'm eating a honey bun and the last little fourth of that crumble pink sugar cookie. So, yeah, just ignore that. Let y'all, I 
leave my camera at home because for one, I decided to pack a small purse. And for two, um, since I was packing a small purse, I have nowhere to put y'all. So I was like, I'm just gonna leave my camera at the house. I ain't gonna worry about it. Cause I'm pretty sure inside the place, I ain't gonna be able to have my camera. Anyway, so yeah, I'm talking to y'all via the sailor device. This man looks weird walking the neighborhood. But yeah, y'all, I'm excited. It's a little, uh, it's cool. It's not as cold as it's been these past couple days. It's 56 out here right now. But the hot today supposed to get like in the 70s. So hopefully it does. So me and my mom can go walking. And yeah. But y'all, I tried out that new uh, mascara that I had bought that elf mascara that I had bought from Old Navy yesterday. It worked pretty good, but y'all, like I tell y'all all the time, I'm not a makeup connoisseur, none of that. So I, I don't know how to tell what's good quality mascara and what's bad quality mascara because the most expensive mascara I done bought probably was $8. So yeah, and plus I don't really be, I don't have natural eyelashes like that. Like they're very thin. So I just don't be feeling like I need to spend buku money on some mascara when I don't even have that many hairs for it to attach to like I'd rather pay somebody for some extra hairs aka lashes instead of be paying for something to stick to my that I even got done but anyways y'all I'm not like I say always I am not trying to ramble so we gonna focus and we gonna make it to the circus let's see what tricks they do today <laughs> videotaping or photography of an animal performance and using security personnel to intimidate the USDA official and confiscate the video footage that he has recorded. February 1st, a USDA sent by We didn't see no animals really. I mean, they did have the horses that came out and then they had the camels for like the little kids to go out and ride the camels, but there was like no lions and like no tigers, no elephants or nothing like that, which is okay. You know, we still dealing with the pandemic, have whatever, but overall it was good. We had fun. My little niece and nephew, they was into it. And then, you know, baby's attention, you only get it for so long then baby, they be sleep. So the circus was one, them, zero no yeah them zero but anyways baby y'all see my little ponytail baby this mug done frizzed up up in there i was shocked i was walking i said is that my ponytail i was sitting over here like thinking that it was cool baby this done frizzed up so since now it done frizzed up i guess with the humidity up in there baby i might go ahead and wash my hair and see what my curls is looking like because there ain't gonna be no there's no there's no longer any point in me wrapping my hair up there's no longer a point so we're gonna see how i feel right now it's 135 and i do need to go to the grocery store and yeah but yeah the circus is so much fun 10 10 recommend <laughs> 